Hello everyone, we are at the Auburn Hills uh, at a newly upgraded wind tunnel uh, in our CTC facility. So this is one of the most advanced facilities in the world. Uh, there are only 36 in the world and Stellantis has three of them. There's a number of things why we're doing the wind tunnel uh, and the reasons why we need a wind tunnel uh, at Stellantis. Uh, as we transition to the um, electrified vehicles, uh, it's immensely important that we have the most advanced aerodynamic uh, configuration of our vehicles. Uh, uh, there's another data point which is quite actually fascinating that for every 0 0.003 CD, you get a one mile extra range on an EV. So obviously our vehicles have all kinds of different characters. Understanding all the tricks of aerodynamics is exceptionally important. So the wind tunnel then helps us do that. Historically, what we've done in this tunnel, vehicles have been static, as you see it here. Um, the wind goes through this, this large tunnel, this circular area, uh, and it flows over the vehicle and it's measured on the surface. This moving ground plane, in the center there, you'll see that belt. That actually spins and, and rotates, simulating the vehicle rolling down the road, and the tires spin and roll. This is a really great addition to uh, the toolkit uh, that we have at Stellantis and which will help us propel even further uh, in our development. And now we don't stop with the wind tunnel. Obviously we're blending the digital technology and uh, all the learnings in machine modeling as well as uh, new advanced generative AI and, and blending the ML uh, alongside with uh, generative AI, but also bringing the real data to validate uh, what we see in uh, our ML models. And I, I believe the wind tunnel can help us with that, can collect more information and eventually empower us to go much, much quicker uh, in the future.